The Arakawa River flows from Saitama Prefecture toward Tokyo. Kawaguchi City is located on the Arakawa River near the southeastern border of Saitama Prefecture, and this convenient location to Tokyo has contributed to the development of the city as a residential area. In addition, with the promotion of many projects, industry and cultural attractions in the city have been growing. However, with an increase in population, the amount of waste generated has been increasing year by year. Kawaguchi City has addressed this problem by establishing a modern, community-friendly waste thermal treatment facility, the Asahi Clean Center. Such traditional industries as foundries, tree plant nurseries and landscaping services and making fishing poles have made Kawaguchi a well-known city since olden times. Because of the extensive foundry industry here, Kawaguchi has been known as the city of cupolas and has often appeared in movies introducing famous towns. As newcomers to the city increase, the traditional festivals and ceremonies flourish more and more. The first festival of the year is the Hatsu-Uma Drum Festival in March. May is the season for talismans and praying for abundant crops, and a large snake is made of straw for the Jazukuri Festival. August brings the Tatara Festival, the largest festival held in the city. Then, in December, comes the Okame Festival, a year-end event much loved by the local people. In February 2003, Skip City Center was born as a new industrial and business center. This multimedia facility has brought many changes to Kawaguchi, but the old is being carefully retained in a harmonious way attracting people to this city of tradition and advanced technology. However, even greater increases in population are forecast for Kawaguchi in the future, and the amount of waste generated will also continue to increase. Strenuous efforts are being made to cope with this situation. All residents wish to have a safe, pleasant, lively city in which to reside without damaging the natural beauty. To make this widely held desire a reality, in November 2002, the Asahi Clean Center, a new community-friendly waste thermal treatment facility, was completed. The Asahi Clean Center not only keeps the load on the environment down, but also recovers valuable resources from waste. Municipal solid waste is largely classified into four categories. Paper, bottles, cans, pet containers, and similar items that can be reused. Various kinds of organic waste and other unrecyclable waste. Batteries, fluorescent lamps, and other hazardous wastes. And large furniture, bedding, home electric appliances, and similar items. Inside the Asahi Clean Center are located the Recycle Plaza for processing recyclable waste and the gasification and ash melting facility to dispose of household waste. This is ash that remains after household waste is incinerated at the Totsuka Clean Center and is called delivered ash. The Asahi Clean Center disposes of delivered ash. 420 tons of waste and 37 tons of delivered ash can be disposed of per day. Now, let's take a look at the gasification and ash melting facility and various other typical facilities. The waste thermal treatment facility consists of the following four major areas. First is the waste receiving and feeding facility, which receives, stores, and pulverizes waste and feeds it with ash to the fluidized bed gasifier at a constant rate. 
Next, the gasification and ash melting facility. The gasifier converts waste into combustible gas and the gas melts fly ash. Third, the heat utilization facility that recovers heat energy from flue gas, reduces emission temperature and generates steam. Finally, the flue gas treatment facility eliminates hazardous substances from the flue gas. Now, let's look at each facility in detail. The collected waste is weighed at the weighing shed and then loaded into the waste pit from the platform. Then, waste is further lifted by a crane into a waste hopper. Waste in the hopper is fed into the shredder where it is broken up into fine pieces, which are then mixed with delivered ash and fed by the waste feeder into the fluidized bed gasifier and ash melter at a constant rate. In the gasifier, the sand is fluidized in a vertically circulating motion with high temperature to decompose the organic substances contained in the waste. Waste fed into the gasifier by the waste feeder is brought into contact with a high temperature fluidized sand bed and is decomposed into gas, char and other substances. The gasifier is kept at 550 to 600 degrees Celsius, which is low enough to prevent dioxin formation and which is also below the melting point of ferrous and aluminum. The gasifier interior is maintained in a reductive and lean oxygen state. This makes it possible to recover ferrous and aluminum and other inert substances from the bottom of the gasifier without oxidation. The gas from the fluidized bed gasifier is led into the ash melter where it is combusted at a low air ratio to reach temperatures as high as 1350 degrees Celsius to melt the ash into vitreous slag. The ash melter consists of the primary chamber inside which the ash entrained with gas is collected on the chamber wall by cyclonic motion. The inclined type chamber for collecting slag in the secondary chamber. And the ash melter also has a tertiary chamber for the complete combustion of gas. Gas whirls along the ash melter wall while burning at 1350 degrees Celsius. Ash in the gas is melted into molten slag due to the high temperature and with the centrifugal force of swirling gas. The slag then runs down the wall of the ash melter. Molten slag is quenched by water and air through the granulation trough and the slag conveyor and is pulverized and collected through the slag grain size controller. The recovered slag can be used as a substitute for sand as a sub-base coarse material for road construction. At the Asahi Clean Center, slag made bricks, tiles and interlocking blocks are used for flower beds, stairways and sidewalks. The gas stripped of slag is completely combusted at 1350 degrees Celsius. The waste heat boiler effectively recovers heat energy involved in the flue gas and utilizes the heat to generate steam. The temperature of the flue gas at the inlet of the waste heat boiler is higher than 1200 degrees Celsius. The generated steam is utilized for the center steam turbine to generate electricity. The electricity reaches a maximum of 12,000 kilowatts, enough for consumption in the entire center. Surplus electricity is sold to electric power companies. The flue gas is sent to the treatment facility for removal of pollutants. The steam is also used for water boilers to feed hot water throughout the center. The bag filter collects dust in the flue gas.
The flue gas is scrubbed with the solution of caustic soda to remove sulfur oxides and hydrogen chloride. Then, the flue gas enters the catalytic reaction column where nitrogen oxides are reduced to nitrogen by ammonia. The pollutants contained in the flue gas are removed to a level below the limit specified by the emission guidelines and can be released safely into the atmosphere from a 100 meter stack. This graph shows a comparison of the emission levels of pollutants and the regulatory limits. As can be seen from the graph, the emissions controlled at the Asahi Clean Center, blue, are well below the regulatory maximum limits, red, permitted. The emissions are under the continuous watch of a flue gas monitor installed in the stack. The quality of emissions monitored is indicated on the emission quality display at the entrance of the Recycle Plaza. The representative installations of the Asahi Clean Center just mentioned are put under the control of the central control room. Signals from cameras and measuring instruments are all gathered here. Let's review the major merits and the latest technology of the Asahi Clean Center's gasification and ash melting facility. The high temperature treatment dramatically reduces dioxin. Ferrous and aluminum are recovered in a non-oxidized state suitable for reuse. By reducing air ratio, the flue gas volume is reduced to minimize environmental loads. Fly ash is melted and becomes slag by the heat energy contained in the waste. The recovered slag is used as a material for sidewalk blocks and other like products. Unsorted waste is a nuisance, but when it is sorted properly, as shown here, recycling becomes possible and it becomes a resource. It is very important, of course, to sort waste properly, but the most important thing is to reduce the amount of waste generated as much as possible by creative thinking and effort. The daily average discharge of waste per person is about one kilogram. Soon, the population of Kawaguchi City will reach 500,000. This means that 500 tons of waste will be generated every day. Waste disposal is a costly business. The Kawaguchi Municipal Government is attempting to decrease the amount of waste generated by 100 grams per person per day through the cooperation of all residents. If this can be achieved, it would result in reducing the amount of waste that must be disposed of by 18,000 tons a year. The Kawaguchi Municipal Government is striving to create a city filled with greenery and provide a pleasant living environment. If each and every citizen cooperates in reducing waste, the result will contribute significantly to the city's efforts to build a more comfortable place to live for all residents.